I am the chief of the Combined Arms Center Training Innovation Facility here at the National Simulation Center. Sergeant. We act as the technology demonstration cell for the TRADOC capability manager for the integrated training environment. We look at what the commercial world is doing. We look at what the gaming industry has done. If we can leverage what the commercial industry is doing and apply that to a new architecture, the synthetic training environment, we can get better training for our soldiers and we can do it more efficiently. There's a lot of potential there. If there is a commercial technology already available that can provide, <laughs> can fill in the capability gap, then the flash to bang is a lot shorter because there's not a huge amount of engineering development that has to take place because we're using something that was developed already. There you go. There are of course costs associated with using commercial technology, uh, but they're nowhere near the costs if you have to develop it all yourself. Oh God, no, right. you, <laughs> Something like the Striker Virtual Collective Trainer. We sat in Strikers and we took pictures and we asked them questions about functionality. Target. We try to make it as immersive as possible. If you go to live training at a higher skill level, theoretically you're going to be more efficient in your training. To say fuel, bullets, and time. What if you go in and get a current picture of that objective area? and then walk around it in virtual reality together collaboratively. I do see it as the future of training. Go ahead and zoom out. That's my goal here, is to produce better training for soldiers and to do it more efficiently than we have in the past. Soldiers should be very excited about the future of training in the Army. There's a lot of cool technology that is coming available because we are looking at the games industry and other ways things are being done.